Hey guys, this is your RS2 and to review the Kogo Lake Lake My Tesco Store Hypermarket Set. So this is the box uh, right here and it's a pretty big one. So it's uh, recommended for just a uh, Cree and up and you can see the box art is uh, pretty cool. You got the Tesco crock at the side and you got uh, some of the mini builds uh, inside the hypermarket but they are not included in the set but yeah so this is the top uh, just has uh, this my Tesco store logo and you also have uh, this side right here which shows you the hypermarket and this is the other side and the bottom we got this uh, Tesco sticker right here and yeah so this is the back so the back here uh, shows you the parts list and you got this uh, very big uh, base base plate and you got all the warnings and stuff and it's uh, made by Kogo Maggie Bricks and made in China but aside from that uh, that's pretty much it for the box and inside the box obviously does come with a uh, uh, cray here which is uh, a kind of different style one than the normal ones from like Leapin but yeah uh, that's uh, pretty much it for this one and this is the instruction manual right here and it's a pre pretty big one actually and yeah uh, also shows you the parts list I'm not sure why but yeah you have uh, all of the steps and stuff and shows you where to stick out the stickers and told in total this set comes with uh, 162 pieces and there's no back but um, yeah aside from that uh, that's pretty much it for the instructions so no extra pieces included with the set here but uh, there are some uh, extra stickers uh, so you have uh, some of these ones exclusive brand for Tesco 50 year anniversary I guess you got the Tesco kind of logo you got the Malaysian flag and I guess uh, that's because uh, the the time that uh, the set was released la last year uh, it was released at about the time of the Independence Day of Malaysia but um, yeah aside from that uh, that's uh, pretty much it for the extra stickers so this is the Tesco store build itself here and as you can see the interior is uh, pretty empty but uh, the entire build here sits on this uh, very big uh, base plate which is definitely nice to get it um, you know it's um, it's nice to get uh, some one of these uh, base plates and uh, it does look uh, very nice so let's start with the front of the building so uh, you got this big Tesco logo at the front and all of these uh, decorations they are all stickers but um, they do look pretty nice and yeah so uh, on the window you got this uh, Tesco club card tough advertisement type thing and yeah uh, and yeah it looks uh, pretty cool and I like the the blue and red color scheme uh, uh, right here uh, on this corner and you know it's a uh, pretty cool you got the Tesco brand advertisement on this window and you got uh, some roofing and you know it's uh, pretty cool as well you got uh, this flag piece which uh, you are supposed to stick uh, the Tesco the Tesco logo flag on there but yeah I'm not sure which one to stick on there so I just um, didn't do it but yeah uh, it's pretty cool right there and yeah so on this side you got two of these uh, windows you got uh, this 15 year anniversary type thing you got uh, another advertisement for the uh, Tesco exclusive brand the back nothing really too special maybe they are supposed to be these uh, stickers at the back but I'm not quite sure and on this side you got two windows right here you got this part with the blue color scheme and you got this really big uh, poster tough thing for the Tesco exclusive brand so yeah uh, that's uh, pretty cool 
And lastly, you got uh, these uh, automatic uh, doors top thing here. And yeah, they are not really doors, but they are just uh, kind of a gate or something. But you can just push them and, you know, it's like any supermarket. But, you know, it's uh, pretty cool that you get this red color one. But, um, yeah, the interior is um, very empty. Nothing really inside, but um, yeah, uh, I'll put uh, all of the builds inside in the correct order, I guess. But um, yeah, so let's um, put all of them in it. So here's how the build looks like with uh, all of the smaller builds from the same series inside. And yeah, I also threw in uh, the Tesco truck, but um, yeah, so as you can see inside here is uh, pretty crowded with uh, quite a lot of uh, figures. You have uh, mostly staff inside, you, uh, there's only two uh, customers, but you know. Uh, it looks pretty nice, all, all the figure display and stuff, but yeah, um, there's just not enough space uh, for the, this uh, this freezer to open, but um, yeah, it's kind of my mistake. But um, yeah, I based this, uh, I based this off the, uh, the display that I saw from uh, the Tesco store, uh, my local Tesco store, but yeah, um, you know, as you can see, it looks pretty great, and if you have uh, all of the sets and stuff, you can, you know, you, you can put them in your own order, or you can put them in your own position and stuff, and if if you have uh, multiples of uh, these, uh, this cashier Sophia set, then maybe you can have uh, two cashiers in the, the store. And maybe if you have uh, two of these uh, store sets, you can find a way to like um, expand them. You know, make uh, make both of them into one uh, huge building. So yeah, that's uh, definitely great. But um, yeah, uh, so I think uh, this is a very nice uh, store, and yeah, it's uh, pretty customizable. So overall conclusion of this set here. So how did I think of it? Um, the set itself, I definitely think the build is great. Uh, you know, the the build for the hypermarket uh, store is great. Uh, I also like all the stickers and stuff. You know, because without the stickers, the build will look uh, very plain. And like the the like this entire series here, they all of them. Uh, pretty much all of them rely on the stickers, so yeah, I think uh, stickers are definitely important. And I also like that they included a very big base plate, and also that you you can have a uh, a lot of space inside. Uh, you know, enough space uh, for all of the small builds to fit, except for truck. But you know, uh, the only bad thing about the set here is the price because it is priced at four forty ringgit which is about 10 US dollars and it's um, pretty expensive for a bootleg set but not, not for an official Lego set but yeah uh, f uh, like the amount of pieces that you get is um, just not enough maybe they could have included a, uh, this Tesco truck that would have been uh, worth it but um, yeah like it's also a place uh, where you put all of these uh, mini builds so yeah but if you aren't bo bothered to buy the like the rest of these m mini builds because you have to collect all the stickers then I recommend you buying only this uh, store and making your own uh, your own like custom interior but uh, yeah uh, so if you want to buy the set I'll uh, I'll put a I'll put a link to the uh, Facebook exchange group for the my Tesco store. Uh, if there's still anyone uh, selling it, but um, yeah, I also put links to the original my Tesco store website, uh, my Tesco Malaysia website down in the description. Along with all my social media social media pages down in the description. So if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.